Hey dudes and dudettes, here with another Path of Exile unique item video for you. This one's going to be on the Crest of Parandus, the unique Pine Buckler. Uh, we'll go over the mods and everything, talk about the builds and uses it has, and then we'll talk about the lore. Crest of Parandus, Pine Buckler. Uh, chance to block, 40%. Now this is the highest chance to block on any shield in the game at this moment in time. Evasion rating, 44. Requires level 8, 26 decks. So you can see that the level requirement is very low. You can use this at early levels. And the 26 decks requirement is not steep at all. Anyone can uh, just get a little bit of decks and use this. So it's open to anyone to use. Plus 64 to maximum life. 6.8 life regenerated per second. 30% to lightning resistance, 3% of physical tax damage leached as life, and 10% additional block chance. This is a, an extremely good low level shield, and you can use this all the way into <laughs> probably cruel easily because just the 64 maximum life, the 6.8 life regenerated is massive and it has the lightning resist on it and uh, if you're a character that is also going to be using a one hand attack the leech life is great, 3% is, and of course the 40% block is massive so uh, this is an, uh, an item that you can use in the early game and all the way into the uh, mid game uh, it's, it's, it's an exceptional item with piety and justice, Prandus family motto that comes from the Parandus family that was during the Eternal Empire uh, under, you know, Chittis. Uh, and that was overthrown. The, the Eternal Empire was overthrown. And you get to actually read more about what Parandus did and stuff later on in Act 3 in the library. Uh, that, that references Parandus a lot. Uh, he even talks about the quest giver in the library that you get to talk to, the Karui quest giver, uh, that is trapped and uh, immortal because of the painting. Uh, the with piety and justice references the Parandus family. I guess they were supposed to be quite, uh, quite strong on the justice side because when Lord Chittis was killed by the mayor and the mayor went through the sewers to the encampment of the people that uh, Vol they were uh, that were overthrowing Chittis. Uh, a few days later, the Parandus, uh, the, well, he was found. The mayor was found with his head in his hands. He was sitting cross-legged with his head in his hands uh, in, his, in his lap in the sewers. And supposedly an assassin had hire, had been hired by the Prandis family to pluck him out of the encampment and kill him as punishment for killing Lord Chittis. So they were very uh, loyal to Lord Chittis and steeped in the, that whole justice thing towards uh, the punishment that that person deserved for killing Lord Chittis. And uh, piety uh, references <laughs> piety. Oh, I hate her. Uh, but piety references. Uh, there's a line in, later on in the library that Prandus says to the Karui. He said, "His humanity shames us all." Well, his, his humane. Uh, yeah, you know, saying uh, humane. He's so humane he shames us all. Something like that. Basically saying uh, that that person was the most humane of them all. The 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 more level-headed, if you could say, but uh, that, that references Prandus as well, so I'd say that, uh, that, is, that Prandus was also a pious type person, uh, but also there is some things that would say that the Prandus family also owed debt and stuff like that as well, so, uh, that, and that's on other lore items that I've read before, so it, it's, it's pretty steeped in lore due to the Prandus family being so big a part of the Eternal Empire, and Hope you enjoyed the video and find the lore about the Parandus family as cool as I do because it's, it's just it's just everywhere. You know, I'd like to know more and learn more about what happened to the Parandus family, uh, you know, at the fall of the empire. And as always, take care, be safe, and be cool to each other.